How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT Thread A. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your Adventure of 5M series printer with both Orca Flashforge and Flashmaker. Let's get into it. First thing you need to do is visit the Flashforge website to download Orca Flashforge and to scan the QR code with your phone to download Flashmaker. Once you have downloaded both, we are going to open Flashmaker and create an account which we will also use later to sign into Orca Flashforge. Next, you need to power on your Adventure of 5M or 5M Pro and update to the latest firmware version which is compatible with both Orca Flashforge and Flashmaker. Then we need to navigate to the information tab and press on my account. Inside the Flashmaker app, we're going to press the plus button in the top right corner and then scan the QR code on your 5M series printer. We are then going to press the confirm binding button and your printer will now be bound to your account and be available to control inside Flashmaker. You'll be able to view a camera if you have one connected, view print history, pause and cancel prints, as well as change temperatures and other print settings. Now onto Orca Flashforge. When you load Orca Flashforge, you'll be prompted to select your region and then your printers. One thing you'll notice straight away is that the profiles for the Adventure of 5M and 5M Pro now have 0.25mm and 0.8mm nozzle settings. Nice job Flashforge. Once you've selected your printers, we need to go to the home panel and sign in to our Flashmaker account which we just made. Once signed in, you should be able to see your printer available in the device tab. You'll also notice a material station section below, which I believe will be for Flashforge's unreleased multi-material system, which we'll hopefully see released later this year. Now to send prints via Wi-Fi, you simply have to slice a file as usual and then press the new print plate button. You'll then be prompted to select which printers you would like to send the file to, meaning that you can send one slice file to multiple printers instead of slicing one per printer. And you're done. Thanks for watching guys, if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe, let me know your thoughts on Orca Flashforge and the Flashmaker app, and as always, happy printing.